Hey, it's Jeremy here. I have a tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to create some good shadows, especially when you're working with UI or some, you know, cards or some user interface, stuff like that. And you want your shadows to work in a certain way. I'm going to show you a trick how to do that. So you can see here, I've got two, you know, mock-up cards um, on this, you know, gradient background. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this first card. You can see it's just a rectangle with rounded corners and I just made that white. I'm going to open up my appearance panel. You can go to window and appearance to open up that. And you know what you'll usually do is go to appearance, click on FX. I'll go to stylize and drop shadow. And usually that's what most people will do. And I've, I usually do that as well. So you want to click preview to see your shadow. So you can see how your shadow is, you know, on the right hand side. So it's going on diagonally on a corn on an angle. I can also change the color by clicking the swatches and you know, I can even change this blue and you can see it will change. I can up the opacity like usual. I can also move it. Instead, if I don't want it on an angle, I can just put the X offset to zero and it will directly place the shadow below it. So on a straight, you know, vertical line, but you see, it's going to, it's applying that shadow all along the sides and the top of the, of that shape, but I don't want it to do that. I just want it to apply it just below it here. So you see, um, I'll press OK. So you can see that you can see how the shadow runs down all the way up. But what if you just want the shadow on the bottom here? This cool trick is this is what you usually do. So what we'll do is press M for the rectangle tool to make a box. What I'll do, I'll just change the color. And what I'm going to do is go to object, arrange, and I'm going to send to back. And I'm just going to bring it up one. So I'll go object, arrange, um, bring forward. It should bring it up one. So you can see there, the shape is just below this shape here. And what you want to do, you don't want to bring the shape to the full length of this square because I have, we have round corners, but not only that, even if you don't have round corners, you want to make the shadow look nice and make it look smooth. So I'm going to put it about, you know, 70%, 80% in like this. And I don't want it too, too far down, but I just want it below like a little bit, you know. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to effect. You can also go to your appearance panel and press FX here. You can do the same thing. And we can go to blur and I'll go Gaussian blur. I'll click preview and you can see it's going to start to blur it. So if I bump it up, you can see it's fading out. So I'll just do roughly 29 pixels looks all right. So you can see it's starting to blur, but we can't see it because of the color. So I'm going to select it, go to my transparency panel. So you go to window transparency. I'm going to click on this and click multiply like that. I'll just move this out of the way and you can see there. Now we have a custom shadow that we made that's going to work with this card here. So you can see here, it's directly below it's where we want it. We don't want the shadow on the sides there because, you know, we want the illusion of just making it pop from the bottom. As you can see that it has a different effect, especially if I make this background, you know, a lighter color, you can see the effect it's having there like that. And I could go ahead, you know, I can drag it out a bit more. But you can see you want to keep it realistic. You don't want it to be too much out of order like that. And you can see you get a lot better shadows that stand out and pop, especially when you're doing some UI and interfaces or, you know, you're doing web pages or illustrations. This you know trick is going to really help you out. So thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below what tutorials you guys want to see. You know, drop some ideas, subscribe for more content every week. And I hope you guys have an awesome week.